Thank you, Jesus. How many knows anything about taking the limits off of God? Pastor Ty, can I have just a minute to testify? I just want to tell you. So you guys know I graduated from Sinclair last year, and my testimony was about going to UD. When I gave the, when I stood up here and they recognized the graduates, I knew I was going to UD, but I had no idea how I was going to pay for it. So I missed out on the UD Sinclair program, so I, I didn't get a chance to have my, my bill cut with that. And whenever I got ready to apply, I was, I was frightened, and the enemy said, you're not good enough, you're not good enough, you're not smart enough, it's not going to happen. Do you know that's $22,000? Do you know how much money that is? You don't have that. You don't have any way of getting that. And so finally, um, after getting through some technical difficulties, I got my application in. And within a week, they came back, and almost 19000 of the $22,000 was paid for with scholarships. So, so, let me just say this. Let me just say this. When God gave me the vision, he said, debt free. So how many knows 19,000 isn't 22,000? So I'm at school the other day, we're down to one car, the alternator went bad on the car, the refrigerator's making noise, we got school fees, all this stuff is going on. My husband drops me off at school early and I say, I'm gonna go to the library. I go to the library, open up my laptop and there's an email in there. And it's from the assistant director of veteran services at UD. And so I, I read it and he says, yay, can you bring your DD-214 in? And I'm thinking, well, they already know I'm a veteran. You know, why do I have to bring this? But I said, I don't, you know, it doesn't matter. Let me just go back one second. When I got out of the car and I'm thinking about everything that's going on, the Holy Spirit reminded me. He said, debt free. So I get out of the car. I'm not in the molly grubs. I said, God, you said debt free. And I'm walking on to the library. So I get in there, get the email, and I say, okay, when I get done with class, I'm going in there because I always go in the lounge in between classes. And so when I get in there, he's standing at the desk, and he's like, oh. He's like, how you doing? I said, I'm doing good. I said, would you like me to come in your office? And he said, yeah. So I go and put my backpack down, and I get out my little card that has my dates of service on it. And then he looks at me, and he said, I have to be honest with you. I called you in here under false pretenses. I said, okay. And he said, uh, I called you in here because, and I asked you for your DD-214 in case they asked if I had verified that information before I give you this news. But I wanted you to know that you're the recipient of a scholarship that's going to cover the balance of what you had left. So I just want to tell you, don't put limits on God. And if he gives you a word and it doesn't look like it's happening, put him in remembrance of what he said to you. Put him in remembrance of, your, of his word. That's what he told us to do. And he gave us that authority as believers to put him in remembrance of his word. So I pray that that encourages somebody today. I pray that it blesses somebody because that's what we're supposed to do as the body. That's why we have the body. Because the arm can't function without the torso and the torso can't function without the leg and so forth and so on. So be encouraged today. I love you all. Let's welcome our illustrious pastor as he comes.